In today's episode, I've prepared for you 8 hidden messages in the movies. Tyler Durden, played by Brad Pitt, admitted that when he was working in the cinema, he intentionally added photos of men's genitals to movies he projected. Director of Fight Club used this idea. David Fincher added four frames on which Tyler is visible on the movie before the character is introduced in the plot. Some people say that this was done to accustom the viewers with Tyler. When Simba laid down on the cliff, the clouds of the dust rose up in the air, where for a split of a second, three controversial letters appeared. After years, animators admitted that in reality the SFX title was to show up in honor of the special effects department. Today, there is no way to discover the truth of what was meant through the mysterious word writing. However, the version with word sex is definitely more controversial and attracts attention, and for that reason is the most commonly used one. Usually, the registration plates in the movies are designed to blend in. Creators of Matrix decided to make an exception, and on many of the plates there are references to religious texts. For example, on Agent Smith's car there is IS-5416, referencing Isaiah chapter 54 verse 16. Those are not the only references to the Bible. Name of Morpheus' ship is Nebuchadnezzar, which is a name of Babylonian king. Hearing messages in Morse code in the movies, we usually trust director's translation of the code. Peter Jackson, however, plays a hidden message for those who look at the details in the movies more carefully. Before the characters reach the Skull Island, they've received a message in Morse alphabet that was supposed to be a bench warrant of Carl Denham. In reality, the message decodes to show me the monkey, in honor of the most famous monkey in the history of cinema. During the mission to the sun, the Icarus 2 crew gets a message about the danger from Icarus 1 ship. The group decides to check the ship lost long time ago. When they reach the ship, we can see the flashlights directed at the camera. It's in that moment when director Danny Boyle plays hidden pictures displaying dead members of Icarus 1 during Hawaiian-style party that was supposed to have place on the lost mystery ship. These images are later uncovered to be fragments of picture that one of crew members discovers shortly after. In the last scenes of Cloverfield, the bridge under which Beth and Rob are hiding falls down burying the couple. It may have seemed that the monster died, however the director Matt Reeves plays a short 5 second recording in credits that didn't exactly seem to make much sense. Played in reverse, however, it sounds like military reports saying it's alive, what suggests that the monster did not die. This leaves the door open for a potential sequel to the movie. During the hunting scene on Times Square in New York, Will Smith passes by billboard advertising movie in which Batman and Superman would show up together. Even though Batman vs Superman movie was released 6 years later than the premiere date showed on the poster, we can assume that studio purposefully hid a message here about their future movie plans. In one scene, Veronica Corningston, together with a couple other women, visits a Mexican restaurant to punish Ron Burgundy and his team for their sexist views. Name of the restaurant to which they headed translates from Spanish into We spit in your food. In that case, enjoy your meal. In today's episode, that's all. If you liked the video, don't forget about the rating and the comment. See you in the next episode.